Hey guys, it's Frances. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my 23rd birthday and initially my plan was to go to Grand Bend to go to Grand Bend, do parasailing and yeah, just enjoy the whole day at the beach but unfortunately something something happened and something happened and a newfound friend of mine went far away it is one of the major turning point of my life because I witnessed such a thing uh, but even though it happened it never shaken my faith because I know he's in the good hands right now um, I'm just glad because I found new friends I just wish it didn't end up that way because it would have been better it would have been better it would have been better in a way that we will be able to you know to go out with him including that person who went far away but yeah um yeah the past few weeks have been hard for all of us i've met them since last year but the bond started during the camp so it it's, was so hard because it was so hard because we were we spent the whole day together since morning till the till the night till night and yeah it was it was unexpected but i know that everything that happens in our life happens for a reason like what i said earlier i'm grateful because i found new friends i found new family here in canada and i am so grateful because they welcomed us with open arms I would like to point out three or four things that I have learned at the age of 23. First one is always be grateful. Never take anyone for granted. And always tell the people that surrounds you how much you love them and how much they mean to you. Will tell the people how much you love them. Tell especially your parents, your family, your friends, tell them how much you love them because you never know how no you never know how long are they gonna be there and life is really unpredictable and dang dahil sa mga nangyari um i knew a lot of people that they're close to me or even just acquaintances that went far 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 away beyond reach and i don't want you guys to be in the position where you will regret something you'll regret something kasi may hindi, kayo nasab may hindi kayo nasabi sa isang tao like you never told them how much you love them or never told them how, how thankful you are that you meet them or how thankful you are that they've been part of your life um, it, would, it wouldn't be nice to live a life that's full of regrets don't live life full of regrets. Be grateful. Say, express what you wanted to express. Express mo yung nalalamdaman mo para sa isang tao, sa parents mo, sa mga, sa mga friends mo. Just tell them what you wanted to say. Basta, wag kang mag-hold back. Don't hold back because it would be really hard kapag nawala na sila. Tapos, may isa sabihin mo na lang na isa na pala sinabi ko to, sana pala ginawa ko to sana, sana, puro ka na lang, sana eh di sana ginawa mo yun before they left you know what I mean? Um, just treasure them especially your parents treasure them lagi, lagi ko itong sinasabi eh, since my previous vlogs na hindi mo sila di mo alam kung hanggang saan lang or kung hanggang kailan lang so Always make sure you treasure all the people that surround you or all the people that mean to you. The people that mean to you. Kasi, mahilap eh. Mahilap mabuhay na puno ka ng ano, regrets. Um, it's hard. It's hard to wake up every day na sasabihin mo sa dili mo, ay sana ginawa ko to. So please don't put yourself in a position where you live your life full of regrets. So, and before we get to that point, make sure you um, tell your parents how much you love them. Make sure you tell your friends how much they mean to you. Um, tell them how grateful you are that they've been part of your life. So, number two would be be kind. Always choose kindness. I've known a lot of people, like, it also happened to me, na some people just really wanted to comment 
give comments um, without even putting their place in someone's shoe. It happened to me na kung kahit ikaw pa yung, even though you did something good, um, people will see see it like differently. So I would like to tell to everyone that before you say something, make sure you put yourself in someone's shoe. At kung hindi mo man maintindihan, just make sure you're sensitive enough. Don't speak um, foul words or negative words kasi hindi mo alam kung ano yung epekto nun sa isang tao. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung status ng mental health nila. And since you don't know what they've been through or what they're going through, isn't it nice if you just choose to be kind and not say harsh things to the person? Kasi it will trigger them kasi eh. Kung may bad comments ka or may matbitaw ka na salita na sobrang sakit and that person is going through something, that is going to trigger them and hurt them more because they are emotionally fragile and that is something that you wouldn't want to experience as well. So kung ayaw mong ma-experience yan, wag mong ipa-experience yan sa iba. Kasi if you were in that position, you wouldn't like it as well. So to everyone, um, it's, it isn't hard to be kind. Lahat naman tayo may silent battles na pinagdadaanan na hindi natin nasasabi or naipwento sa iba. So just choose kindness. Be kind always. Like what I always say in my outro, be well, be kind. And I hope everyone will do the same thing. Number three is... Number three will lead to number four. Always, um, always choose your happiness. Always do something that will make you happy. Because uh, lately, I've also learned that I've overhyped things. I've overshared everything um, to everyone. Because madali ako magtiwala, and I think that's the biggest mistake that I've done so far. Because madali ako madala. Sobrang soft ko, and I easily shared my life with others and that is something that shouldn't that I shouldn't do I've just realized that's something I shouldn't do kasi hindi naman lahat interesado sa'yo hindi naman lahat interesado sa buhay mo and some are just really nosy that they just wanna know what's going on with your life and after that they just gonna... I think the biggest regret that I have this year is oversharing my life with others opening it up with other people na hindi ko pa naman talaga close naging komportable lang ako and yeah I admit that so anyhow going back choose happiness so lately as you guys have seen I being I am being I mean I'm limiting myself on sharing everything on social media if that makes sense kung dati puro ako share ng ganito ganyan right now I am focusing on what really matters focusing on myself more kasi because of that nung nakasanayan ko na siya na kinokontrol ko sarili ko on using social media on, or learning myself on how to use social media properly without affecting my mental health without affecting my myself mas naging peaceful yung buhay ko and I wouldn't explain that to anyone kasi now once you know how to control your use of social media must be peaceful. The less people know about what's going on in your life, the better it is. The more peaceful it is. I'm just limiting what I'm sharing to everyone because what happened last year was emotionally draining, mentally draining, because yung iba is nakikisaw-saw na and nakikigulo na. And that's something that I wouldn't want to live by that's some um, so before pa siya magtuloy-tuloy i already got it eh, hindi ko siya masasabing toxic trait ko kasi that trait of mine made my life peaceful okay i think that's everything so learning number one is never take anyone for granted and be grateful number two is to always choose kindness number three is always choose your happiness and doing things just do the things that will make you happy. That will make you happy. Which leads to number four is always choose to be at your peace. 
um yeah i think that's everything and i hope you learned something from this vlog yeah i always do this yearly usually i do like i say a lot of points but for this year i would only mention only four things because i think that was the most important thing that i have learned so far i hope you guys are doing well out there anywhere in the world who's watching this video i hope you guys are doing well if you guys like this video uh, if you guys love this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you guys haven't subscribed yet click the subscribe button down there below and yeah be well be kind thank you bye